We're touring Tasmania in the Jeep Compass Trailhawk and you may well ask, why here? This is why. World-class views, incredible roads blessed with light traffic, towering trees one moment and breathtaking coastline the next. Even better, Tassie delivers an epic road trip that won't leave you drained. I agree, Ellie. Tassie operates at a pace that, quite frankly, is pretty easy to settle into. We're hitting up the four points of the compass on the Apple Isle to show you just how much Tasmania has to offer. And why we're doing it in the four-wheel drive. Our first stop is at the northern tip of Tasmania in Stanley, where the scenery speaks for itself. Zigzag your way to the top of the nut for a breathtaking view of Stanley. If you can't face the uphill trek, get the chairlift. And here's a tidbit for you. Nearby Cape Grim boasts the cleanest air on the planet. Top that. On the far west of Tasmania, you'll find the town of Strawn, located on the Macquarie Harbour. Definitely take a boat tour up the Gordon River to explore the World Wilderness Heritage Area. So Strawn is definitely worth a visit, but this is why we're here. We're on the beach. I know. I how can't cool. believe it. How cool is that? It's, this is easier than I thought. I was, I was a bit nervous about sinking like quicksand <laughs> or something. Uh, what's that? That's cool. That's, that's a, a water inlet, a river crossing. Just go. Are you It'll sure? be totally fine. Yeah. Are go. we going to make it through that? Yeah, go a little oh. bit faster. Okay. And through there. Yep. Oh my god! Follow the tracks, go. Oh. Awesome. Oh, someone's already been through yep. here. Oh. Easy. Oh. Easy. <laughs> So if we do get stuck, we've got those recovery hooks anyway. Absolutely, don't we? So <laughs> absolutely. We're, we've yeah. come well prepared. I'm glad. Yeah. Is Antarctica that way? No, it's. Mm. Mm. We should have brought should an actual compass. compass. <laughs> Next, we'll weave our way south via 99 Bends, which is exactly as it sounds, a famous set of narrow, twisting roads that hug the mountains surrounding Queenstown, frequented by rally drivers and enthusiastic sports car owners. But don't be intimidated by Tasmania's reputation for these rally roads. We reckon a 4x4 is a much better idea. So we've been travelling hundreds of k's side by side now. Yeah. How's it going? <laughs> it's been awesome. Fun. I think the company, you know, clearly, <laughs> clearly the company makes it. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, and um, seat memory. Oh yes. And your own climate that. control. Yeah. And it's um, been pretty cold, so those heated seats have really saved me. I reckon. Oh god, yes. I'm so glad we have Apple CarPlay. I'm so glad that we've got separate playlists. I know! <laughs> no, but you liked one of my playlists. Yeah, one of them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> On the way to our most southern destination, we're visiting the Hastings Caves, and they are quite truly mind-blowing. You can't come to Tasmania and not do it, I reckon. It was pretty awesome. If someone said, mm. uh, describe Ellie in a make model. MX-5, Mazda MX-5. Oh really? Tops off, lots of fun. <laughs> what would you want to be? What I want to be or what would people say I was? Probably Both. two different things. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be something like a, a Range Rover because I suspect I'm pretty high maintenance and mm. a little bit pricey to run. Beyond the caves, we reach Whale Lookout. 
it's about as far south as you can travel and to be honest there's not a lot here but i think that's kind of the point absolutely and maybe people are scared if by this the end of the world is closer than you think <laughs> <laughs> they're not far wrong i know is that antarctica over there that would explain the weather hey look there's a polar bear i gotcha <laughs> The dirt road beyond Bolton's green campgrounds reveals pristine beaches nestled in private alcoves. They are postcard perfect. It's a constant theme in Tasmania. Another constant is the wildlife. And sadly, a lot of it ends up as roadkill. Please be careful, particularly when driving at dawn and dusk. Winding our way to our final destination, we saunter through the Huon Valley where produce is king. And it's the apples and cider that reign supreme. So lost. Yeah, I think you've gone the wrong way. <laughs> this is not the first time that you've gotten us lost on this road trip. Several days into our trip and we're appreciating a good car, sat nav and good company. Would you go on another road trip in this car? Oh, I thought you were going to say with you. <laughs> with me as well in this it's car. It's a solid yes to both. I feel like you're a 64 year old trapped in the body of a 24 year old with the energy of a 12 year old. And that's all positives. I love that. That's the best thing anyone's ever said about me. You're a solid 20 out of 10. <laughs> Coles Bay has it all, pristine beaches and rugged mountains for some energetic hiking. And then there are oysters. You simply can't visit this part of Tassie without donning a pair of waders. The east coast of Tasmania gets a lot of love from snap happy, outdoorsy, hiking, kayaking, <laughs> gourmet loving, oyster shucking tourists. And if you visit Tasmania without a shucking good selfie, you've only got yourself to blame. From tarmac to gravel, sandy beaches to rally perfect roads, our Jeep Compass Trailhawk has not missed a beat. What a trip. We promise you'll be bookmarking locations and planning your next trip to Tasmania before you even head home. It's that good. Oh, and do it in a four-wheel drive. <laughs>